What's up, up cougars? cougars? Welcome back to this week's CTV episode. I'm Ambria Milton. And I'm Maggie Mickley. Today is March 11, 2024. Only 11 more days until spring break. To start off this episode, let's go to Ellen and Remy who are asking Crestview trivia questions. I'm CT reporter L. Campbell and I'm here with Kira McCoy. How many Crestview staff attended Crestview as a student? 10, 15, or 20? 20. Nope. Good try though. I'm CT reporter Remington Elberg here with Owen Klein. How many Crestview staff attended Crestview as a student? 10, 15, or 20? 15. Correct. Hi, I'm CTV reporter L. Campbell and I'm here with Lillian Blair. How many Crestview staff attended Crestview as a student? 10, 15, or 20? 15. Yep. Thank you. I'm CTV reporter Remington Oberg here with Mr. Gass. How many Crestview staff do you think attended Crestview as a student? 10, 15, or 20? 15. Correct. Did you attend Crestview as a student? Yes, I did. Thank you. I'm CT reporter L. Campbell, and I'm here with Mrs. Becker. How many Crestview staff do you think attended Crestview as a student? 10, 15, or 20? I'm going to say 10. Wrong. <laughs> did you attend Crestview as a student? I sure did. Okay, thank you. Wow, I never knew any of those. Me either. This week is packed full with announcements, so let's start off with those. Congrats to the February Students of the Month. Those following students are Weston Detmer, Lexi Ellett, Mary Ellen Van Gorder, Delilah Bowling, J.C. Mayer, Eleni Long, Shaylee Johnson, Jonathan Lochner, and ha Haley Kinsey. Next up, we have a segment with Molly interviewing math bowl coach Mr. Groves. Hey Cougars, I'm CTV reporter Molly Kraft, and today I'll be interviewing Academic Super Bowl team member Tyler Cassidy. But first, let's go to Academic Super Bowl head coach Mr. Groves to get the scoop. I'm here with Academic Super Bowl head coach Mr. Groves. What makes up Academic Super Bowl? So the Academic Super Bowl is a five round competition. There's uh, four disciplines, I guess you call it. So there's math, English, social studies, and science, and then there's what they call the interdisciplinary round, where it's like the question can be from any of the categories, sort of like how Jeopardy works. So it's like 25 questions each round, and it's not really a, uh, who gets it right first, it's just if we get it right. And how did the teams look this year after winning conference last year? So the last year we were an awesome team with conference, and the uh, science team actually won state last year as well. So the math team is a little bit different this year, which I coach because it's a little bit harder material. So we're getting there. Uh, we're, we're doing our best. Uh, I've been talking with some of the other coaches though. The English team sounds like they're really good because it's about Harry Potter. So everybody's all over that one. And the science team's doing like space shuttle stuff and stuff like that. They're doing really good. And the social studies team is learning all about all the presidents we had in the 80s and 90s. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that we can retain our conference title and do well at the state again. Thank you. I'm here with Tyler Cassidy. Tyler, what teams do you participate in? I participate in the social studies and science team. How much time do you spend studying outside of practice? Normally they give us a uh, like videos to watch and links to use. It's normally about an hour long video, so probably about two hours a day. What team is your favorite? Uh, I would have to say science. The snacks are better. What do you think of your of your coaches giving you snacks at practice? Uh, we need snacks to function, and normally uh, we're only eating snacks for the first half of practice. Thank you. Now back to... Hey, hey! Academic Super Bowl rocks. Back to Maggie and Ambria in the studio. Seems like too much math for me. The Crestview musical this year is The Addams Family. It will be held on March 15th at 7 p.m. on March 16th at 1 and 7 p.m. The admission fee is $5. Since we're on the musical topic, let's head to Noah, who is interviewing choir teacher Mrs. Henley. Hello, everybody. My name is Noah Runyon, and today we're going to be interviewing Mrs. Henley. I'm Noah Runyon. Hi, I'm Miss Henley. All right, so Miss Henley, what's a normal day of the musical practice like? Um, well, we rehearse on Mondays and Wednesdays from 3 to 6. So a lot of times we are going through whatever scenes that were on the schedule for that day. And at this point now we're putting together entire acts and then uh, soon we'll be putting together the entire show and getting ready to perform right. it. Miss Henley, what is your favorite act of the entire bunch? Oh my gosh, well there's only two acts. I like them both for different reasons, but act one is really fun because at the end of act one, um, 
pretty much everything goes crazy and there's like a ton of problems and you don't feel like things are going to have a happy ending. Um, so that's always kind of fun to watch everything kind of fall apart. All right, so when is the musical? Our musical is March 15th and 16th. Uh, Friday night will be at 7 p.m. and then on Saturday we have two shows, uh, one at 1 p.m. and the second one at 7 p.m. Thank you. Thanks for that amazing interview, Noah. <laughs> Great job to everyone who participated <laughs> in Band Over. Seventh grade achieved gold. And eighth grade achieved gold. Amazing <laughs> job, Cougars. If you see these students in the halls this week, make sure to wish them a happy birthday. Tomorrow, March 12th, is the last day of the quarter. Make, make sure to get those assignments to remain Cougars. <laughs> also, make sure to congratulate the teacher and classified staff of the year if you see them. The staff of the year is a 7th grade science teacher, Mr. Bollinger. The classified staff of the year is a new librarian, Mrs. Esslinger. Now let's head to Haley with this week's weather report. Hey Cougars, I'm Haley Hurdle and I'll be giving you this week's weather report. On Monday, it will be mostly sunny and a high of 48 and a low of 30. On Wednesday, it will be partly cloudy with a high of 56 and a low of 35. Wednesday will also be partly cloudy with a high of 59 and a low of 40. On Thursday, there will be showers with a high of 62 and a low of 43. And lastly, Friday will be rainy with a high of 62 and a low of 42. That's all for this week's weather report. Wow, it seems like the weather is starting to get warmer, which means spring, spring is coming, coming, which also means spring sports are almost here. Hey Maggie, when do those start? I don't know, but maybe Chamberlain does, so let's head to her with the sports report. What's up Cougars? I'm Chamberlain Whitaker here with this week's sports. Let's start off with Athletes of the Month. Congratulations to Jonah Fields, Mason Herford, Ayla Steele, Maya Gradless, Brady Steele, and Cora Smith, and Sylar Bauer. Spring sports are starting. Track starts on March 11th. Tennis starts on April 1st, boys soccer starts on March 19th, and girls soccer starts on March 11th. The 6th grade girls basketball team won their games against Tippy Canoe. The A team won 17-14 and the B team won 8-2. The swim team went against Adam Central and both teams won. The girls won with a score of 108-20 and the boys won with a score of 92-50. Both teams also won against Blackbird. Girls the girls won 88-75, and the boys won 104-54. The first place finishers are Cora Smith and Piper Fields in the 200 medley relay. Isaac Kowalski, Micah Smith, Lane Camden, and A.J. Roth in the 200 medley relay and the 400 freestyle relay. Piper Fields in the <coughs> 200 freestyle, Lane Camden in the 200 freestyle and 50-yard butterfly, A.J. Roth in the boys 100 yard freestyle, in, sorry, 100 yard individual medley, Isaac Kowalski in the <coughs> Isaac Kowalski in the 400 freestyle and 100 backstroke, Piper Fields in the 400 yard freestyle on March relay. On March 6th, the swim team went against Belmont. The boys winning 107 to 60, and the girls losing 67 to 87. The wrestling team lost against Woodside 12 to 95. Great job, Cougars. That's it for this week's sports. Now back to Maggie and Ambria in the studio. Thanks, Chamberlain, for that report. Hey, Ambria, why did the pig stop sunbathing? I don't know why. He was baking in the sun. LOL. Speaking of food, let's go to this week's breakfast and lunches. Today, the breakfast will be mini French toast sticks, and for lunch, it will be basto sticks or taco salad with sides of peas, cucumber salad, and a fruity sorbet cup. For Tuesday's breakfast, we will be having croissant breakfast sandwich, and for lunch, it will be a cheese toasties with tomato soup, a chicken bacon ranch wrap, or Asian chicken salad with sides of corn, celery, and peanut butter, and mandarin oranges. On Wednesday, we are having biscuits and gravy for breakfast, and for lunch, we are having chicken nuggets or chicken Caesar salad with sides of french fries, baby carrots, and peaches. On Thursday, the breakfast will be crunch wrap, and for lunch, it will be pasta with meat sauce, chicken alfredo or taco salad with sides of cheesy broccoli, Italian salad, and grapes. And finally for Friday, we are having donut holes for breakfast and pretzels with cheese, our barbecue rib sandwich, or pop and chicken salad with sides of baked beans, cherry tomatoes, applesauce, and brownies for lunch. 
We have one more segment left with CTV reporters Ambria Millen and Haley, Haley Hurdle. What's up, Cougars? Welcome to me and Haley's segment of asking Crestview students what they rate Mr. Kitchen out of 10. I'm CTV reporter Haley Hurdle here with Briston Bonowitz. Rate Mr. Kitchen 1 through 10. Zero. Why? Because he rejected me from CTV. <laughs> I'm here with Riley Shear. What do you rate Mr. Kitchen out of 10? Zero. Why? Because all the assignments we had to do in seventh grade computer apps. Okay. I'm here with Jonah Field. What do you rate Mr. Kitchen out of 10? Nine points. Why? Um, he's super funny. Okay. I'm here with Ruby Girl. What do you rate Mr. Kitchen out of 10? Two, because he forgot to remind us to bring donuts on Fridays. I'm here with Grandma. What do you rate Mr. Kitchen out of 10? I would say an 8 out of 10. Why? Well, he is a very nice teacher, and he seems to be liking the students, and they seem to like him. Thank you. <laughs> I'm here with... Mr. Milton. What do you rate Mr. Kitchen, 1 through 10? Mm, okay, good. I'm here with... Carson Stetzel. What do you rate Mr. Kitchen out of 10? Zero. Why? Um, he thinks I like Macy Mayer. <laughs> okay. I'm here with... Weston Detmer. What do you rate Mr. Kitchen, 1 through 10? Uh... Seven. Why? Um, CTV next year. I'm here with Mr. Dean. What do you rate Mr. Kitchen one through ten? One through ten. Um, I give him a nine out of ten for his hair. Seven out of ten for his clothing style. And probably a six out of ten for his swag. I think he can maybe lean to the right a little bit more. So six plus nine plus seven. Is that 15, 22, so 22. 22 okay. out of 10. Okay. I'm here with Mason. What do you rate Mr. Kitchen 1 through 10? 6. Why? He's a nice teacher. Okay. I'm here with Amelia Nest. What do you rate Mr. Kitchen 1 through 10? Like a 7. Why? Because I've never met him before. Okay. Now back to me and Maggie in the studio. Wow, it seems like Mr. Kitchen has some haters, but also some fans. Lastly, let's finish off with a simple quote by Albert Einstein. Going along with this week's Month Life Skill initiative. The world is a dangerous place, not because of those who do evil, but because of those who look on and do nothing. That is a great quote. Stick around for the 7th graders taking over CTV for the next four weeks. Keep it classy, Cougars!